I read the script for Booksmart and laughed so hard and was so happy that this movie was being made. Even before I thought I even had a chance in hell of being part of it, I was just grateful that someone was making a story about female friendship and one that wasn't about them just trying to get a guy or trying to assimilate. The movie isn't about two nerdy girls who just want to go and dress up like popular girls and somehow bag the popular guy. It's not that. It's really a relationship story about friendship in what for most people is the most intimate relationship of their lives before they move on into adulthood. It's really intense and it's something that most of us can reflect upon and think, wow, how did that friendship inform my identity and um, my future relationship? So we're really telling a story about these girls at this kind of pivotal, crucial point in their lives, which happens to be a really fun and exciting adventure. There's the idea that, oh, isn't it cute how much high school people care? Isn't it funny? When actually it feels like life or death. It feels like war. And I really wanted to tell this story with those stakes in mind and to approach it the same way you'd approach a high-octane action movie or war movie. I wanted it to feel like a buddy cop movie where it's about partners who have each other's backs no matter what and that can be very different people who can support each other and sort of complete each other but within a high stakes environment. So, you know, I, we were inspired by things like Beverly Hills Cop, Training Day, Lethal Weapon. You know, these were what we pulled from. It wasn't it wasn't approached from the place of like, oh, let's make um, a girl movie. It was the idea, let's make a relationship movie told in the environment of high school and be true to how high the stakes truly are in that point, in that time in our lives. Molly is one of my favorite characters I've ever read in a script and to see what Beanie Feldstein has brought to it is incredible because she has an innate humanity and, and a real inner light that makes every character she plays just shine. And you sense um, a, a, just a well of, of vulnerability beneath what she's created for Molly as a tough exterior. But it means that you know she, she's just full of love even if she can't quite figure out how to express it because she doesn't think she's worth being loved. And I could go on and on about Beanie because she's, um, she's a real triple threat superstar. Caitlin Deaver plays Amy, Amy Ansler. And Caitlin was actually part of this project before I was. She was attached when I came on board and I was delighted because I've always been a fan of hers. Short Term 12 was astonishing. And I just, I loved her in Men, Women, and Children. I, I, she's just got something so special about her because she's so smart, but doesn't kind of have to work very hard to prove that. She just is smart. She has a vulnerability that is just right below the surface at all times. She has incredible comedic timing. She's so dry, she's so quick. Jason McCormick, our cinematographer is incredible. He uh, has taken this movie and elevated it to be something so beautiful. And we also immediately clicked. Um, I remember the first meeting with me, Jason, and Katie Byron, the production designer. We just sat in a tiny office at Annapurna. And I said, this is, this is the creative team right here. It all starts here. And I want you guys to be not just hired hands on this film, but my partners, my creative partners and collaborators. And we together really kind of fed and watered this story and allowed it to become something tangible. I sincerely hope that people will see this film and have a great time because it's a great adventure movie. They'll laugh a lot. They'll have a really, a lot of fun. I hope it makes them consider um, how they've perceived others, how they've judged people potentially unfairly, even themselves. I hope it makes them see others with a little more empathy. I hope it makes them appreciate the complexity of their own selves. And I hope it makes people just kind of 
reflect on their high school experience, whether they're in it currently or it was 40 years ago, and think that's a special time in life. And it's important to be present because those times are fleeting and um, there's value to those moments and those relationships.